Hello, and happy February to you. The brand new Bounty Hunter Dragon is the new Dragon of the Month, and so I will be going through the three best breeding combinations you should be using to try and breed him this month. Bounty Hunter is a legendary Wind and Shadow Dragon with 80 base attack and 232 base health. In order to breed him, you need to breed together two dragons that have the fire, wind, plant, and metal elements. Luckily for us, Bounty Hunter is a super easy breed this month if you're using the top breeding combinations, so let's take a look at what they are. Number 1. Fire plus Jade. I actually do not have the Jade Dragon on my Windows account, but for those of you that do, this combination is insanely good with just three other possible outcomes and a 6.67 percent chance to breed bounty hunter the average misbreed time is also just one hour and 56 minutes meaning that anybody that has this combination should have a ridiculously easy time trying to breed bounty hunter this month if you have jade use it number two plant plus bludgeon while not as good as combo 1, this combination is still a pretty good combo overall, having just 4 other possible outcomes and an average misbreed time of 6 hours and 24 minutes. Don't forget that you can also use Fire Mage or Cowpoke as part of this combo, which means you've got a few different options. Number 3, Metal plus Bloom. Normally I'd pick out 2 commons for my third recommended breeding combo, but the Bloom Dragon is a relatively easy enchantment breedable dragon, and there are also other options like the Ash or Kangaroo that you can use too. This combo has five other possible outcomes and an average misbreed of just over six hours, so it's still a very good combination to use overall. But if you're still stuck for options, then Smoke plus Venom is another option for you new folks. Always remember to level up your breeding dragons. And I do normally suggest that you should level them up to level 20 plus when going for Dragons of the Month, but it does depend on how much food that you can easily spare. Aside from leveling up, if you want to breed Bounty Hunter super quick for the Heroes Challenge or any other reasons, you might want to use a double egg relic, a second breeding dam relic, and use your chrono time skips to go for quick rebreeds. But he still might take a couple of tries before you manage to get him. Unless you're me, who tried to breed him once and one day and 14 hours. Nice! Then I went into my second breeding den and tried to breed him again. One day, 14 hours. Double success. Even without Jade, this was an incredibly easy Dragon of the Month breeding month for me, so I wish you the very best of luck breeding him too. Just keep rebreeding until you get him. He is one of the easiest Dragon of the Month breeds in a while. You might also want to rebreed the Bounty Hunter 10 or 20 times to help finish off your Dragon Master Pass or use it for enchantment mats, so good luck. If you do need any other tips or breeding help, then feel free to comment or you can join our Discord server. But I appreciate you being here and I hope you get your paws on plenty of bounty hunters this month.